Blue Earth County is proud of communicating and preserving our past. I just love history. I love learning about everything that came before us. The importance of preserving things is to tell not only the story today, but for future generations. The Historical Society is one of the powerful spokes of the wheel in our visitor economy. And the programs it offers and the history that is in this building, I think is very important. And so that's why I really do appreciate people that uh, work for the Historical Society that are so passionate about their job. Living history interpretation makes history accessible to people in a very different way and especially to all ages of people, especially children. Reenacting history is a really great way to learn about it. History is not only from something that's way back in the past in a history book, but it also happened yesterday and so we want all of those stories to be told. In 1901, a group of people looked ahead and they said, we want to make sure that today is remembered. So 115 years ago, they started collecting the history of the county so that today we would be able to go back and go, wow, okay, now I know who Judge Daniel Buck is and I know who Lauren Cray is. And if, without them taking that initiative to do that back then, we wouldn't have it here. And that's what we do every single day is we're collecting today's history for tomorrow's generation. We collect and preserve the objects and treasures of Blue Earth County's past and then hopefully get to share them with everybody. There are over 20,000 artifacts. There's something like 18,000 photographs. There is a small piece of paperwork you have to fill out. We'd love the history behind it to document it, where it came from and who was it so that we can give ownership and tell the story. It has to have a connection with Blue Earth County, but basically that's it. They just have to bring it in. When you come to the History Center, you will first encounter our beautiful gift shops. Local authors, Minnesota authors, local artists, specialty items, things you really can't find anywhere else. We also are very proud of the Marian Anderson Art Gallery. We also have a traveling exhibit space. It's a traveling and temporary exhibit. We've had about four traveling exhibits a year, um, and we're going to try and keep up that schedule. Also within our facility at the History Center, you'll find our Research Center, which is where you can come and do research on family history, house history, business history, anything you want to know about what has happened in Blue Earth County. Somebody is here doing family history research. The main resource we use are obituaries. We have notebooks made up of obituary clippings, and they go back into the 1800s. We also have indexes for all of the cemeteries in Blue Earth County. We also have vertical files, clippings of various newspapers, articles from uh, the Blue Earth County area. They're particularly useful for people that are doing research on topics. And then we have another set of vertical files which has information on families and it's organized by family names. We try to collect and preserve current information of, of programs that are going on today. We have a permanent exhibit that tells the history of Blue Earth County on just how we became who we are as a community and, and what things you know, made their impression along the way. Learning about the early residents of Blue Earth County, the Native Americans, the Dakota and the Winnebago. Moving into those early settlers that came here, we have a fantastic diorama of downtown Mankato in about 1880s to 1900. And we have our Remembering Front Street exhibit. We have our Pioneer Cabin. And then our new Discovery Lab, which we are so excited about, is a hands-on space for people. It gives them a chance to explore history in so many different ways and discover it and touch it and feel it and just be part of it. And so we're really excited about that new space that's in the museum as well. So I guarantee you come and visit, you will have a full day of fun activities and learn as you go along. Driving around Mankato, if you see green plaques in parks or public spaces, the context of the plaque is generated from the Historical Society. And as an organization, we look to the society to help communicate what the historical context are. We like to make history accessible to people in different ways. We currently have three monthly programs that we do year-round. One of them is called Remember When Coffee Club. It is an informal gathering of people who just want to talk about history. And our other program that we have during the school year is called Young Historians. And that program has been going on for over a decade. Every month during the school year, they can come here, they can learn about history, music and food and crafts and activities, and they're learning about different time periods and the people that came before us in a very hands-on way that will appeal to a kid. And then our other program, which is called History Bits and Bites, 
and it's a fun educational kind of a lunch and learn and it's been a very successful program for us. I love history and I love learning about the past. You can read stories about families from the 1800s, early 1900s, into the 30s and a lot of the social issues that existed back then continue to exist today. And the people that are part of this organization, the staff, the volunteers, they just have such passion. We are basically Blue Earth County's closet. We are a nonprofit organization and without the support of individuals and businesses, we won't be able to continue to do the great work that we've done for 115 years. Visit the History Center and look in every little nook and cranny of our building. Come to the Hubbard House and see how people lived at the turn of the century. I invite you to become a member. You could become a donor and you could donate your family collections to us. You could donate financially to us to help us continue to do our work. Preservation of our history is vital. If it weren't for our history, we wouldn't have the opportunity to grow in the future. Learning about history gives you gratitude as to where you are and understanding as to why things are the way they are. The most important thing about history is understanding that history isn't always in the past. You can bring it up anytime and it's really fun to reenact and it's really fun to interact with other historians. Come, you know, come here, stop here at the desk, explain what you're looking for and we'll help. Come and see some of our, our programs that we do, especially during the summer season, but throughout the year. Just come down here someday and look at the place. It is so amazing, the different things they have set up in just this little space they have here. Uh, and then if you get, you get in here and you like it, uh, you maybe do some volunteering, and if you need some financial support, great. And then go out and tell your friends about it. We've been around for this long, and we hope to be around for another 150 years. Consider becoming a member. Consider supporting us financially. There are so many different ways that you can have an active role in this organization and the future of this organization. Because ultimately, we rely on this community to continue to help us be strong.